I'm here in the HEC with Professor Joanne Rutherford. She's going to be sharing today with her use of YouTube in a project and an assignment in her course and how that worked and how it came about and what her students thought of that assignment. Well, we uh, I, the course is 340P, which is women's health, uh, mainly with an emphasis on uh, women across the lifespan, childbearing years into uh, post uh, menopause and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, we always have a teaching learning project that the students have to do. Uh, it's something that they really don't like at all because it's, they feel it's just a uh, exercise in writing up a, a form. So anyway, I went to a uh, conference this summer and they were talking about all the um, technology that we had at our disposal and that we needed to look outside the box and like utilize some stuff that students like to do. And I use YouTube and some other courses. I'll just find a great video on there that's covering some topic that I'm teaching or we're going over that week and I'll post it on my blackboard. So anyway, I thought, well, let's have them do a YouTube teaching learning on whatever topic they're assigned. And then they can bring it into class, introduce the topic with the YouTube, and then talk about the actual teaching learning that um, we've done in the past. So anyway, I talked to Mary Myers, who's the course coordinator for 340P, and uh, she was all for it. She thought it would be a great idea, so we instituted it uh, at the beginning of this semester, and the OB uh, Women's Health course is uh, seven week. So we have actually two sets of students that take it in one semester. So we tried it with the first set, which finished up right around uh, fall break. Anyway, they, did th they didn't they did want to do the YouTube at all at first. They were all about, I don't want to be videoing myself and all this stuff. But we said, no, that was the way it was. We were going to do it, and they were going to have fun with it. So, uh, you know, they moaned and groaned, but uh, along came the Friday. They had to do the presentations, and uh, they were unbelievably good. And the students had the best time uh, doing them. They, uh, they, got, they were assigned their topic, and it was a topic related to something with women's health. And they were in groups of four. Um, they could present the topic however they wanted, but it had to be able to be recorded initially, um, something on YouTube about it. So uh, they came in on that Friday and, and did their presentations, and some of them had made up raps to go with words uh, that, had, that were to do with the topic so that you would hear it over and over and remember the key points. Uh. Repetition um, enhances Some learning. did a little um, skit where they were like somebody who was ill, meeting with a doctor and a nurse, and discussing their uh, disease process and what the treatment options were. Um, and some were skits where they actually were the sick patient and they were in a hospital and, and what how they felt and that kind of thing. So anyway, we had all t types of things, but they were all posted on YouTube. and. Um, so they got up and they did their presentations, and I mean, some of them were hysterical. And the, the class was laughing, they were interactive. They really, we caught their attention, or the students actually caught each other's attention. And as we all know with teaching, you've got to capture them before you can teach them. Yep. And uh, they ate, were able to do that themselves with the YouTube. Um, and uh, at the end, uh, the following week, we did just a little survey very unofficial, very uh, simple. We had them write down what they remembered about those presentations, and it was amazing. What the you know basically this wasn't scientific at all. It was just something I thought of to see if it was the teaching was working. Um, they um, wrote down the funniest ones and the ones that were most pertinent to them in their age group. Very cool. The stuff about menopause and all that stuff, which most of them are not into that yet. <laughs> uh, they weren't. They didn't really remember too much about. But the topics that related to them personally, and the ones that were the funniest or most engaging, were the ones they uh, remembered awesome. the most about the following week. Very so cool. it was just a little test to see. You engage them, they're going to learn and remember. Very so, nice. Anyway, Very nice. That's basically how it came about. And we're actually doing our the, the second half half of the semester students are doing their presentations this Friday. Oh cool. We'd well, so. like to hear more about it, how those go. It would be really cool maybe if we could come and shoot a little while they're presenting. How oh absolutely. Be? It's between 9 and 11 downstairs. Cool. Okay. Awesome. Well thank you so much.